Hey YouTube. <clears throat> hey YouTube, this is your homeboy Seth Mushart Fitness. Yes, I am shirt off. I'm a little hot. I worked on the grill today at work and I still can't wind that. And um that's the only reason why I hate working the night shift because I'm only so hyper at night and it takes a while for me to unwind and but you know it's a job. You know, I don't mind the night shifts, you know, it pays the bills, whatever. If I get paid more, I get paid for doing the night shift. But, um, other than that, I mean, everybody respects me there where I work at and everything. And I get along with everybody, and everybody likes me. I like them, and all the rest is said and done. But I'm not talking about work. I'm talking about being on your destination on where you want to be at in life. You know, where do you want to be at in the future? You know, right now this isn't this ain't where I want to be at in the future. You know, I don't want to be I want to be moved up. You know, maybe one day become a manager. Know, one day, you know, but that's always been my goal. But right now, I'm just kind of focusing on me because the more you focus on yourself, the more you focus on yourself, you have time to grow. The more you focus on yourself, you have time to heal. You have time to I want to say better yourself at what you do in life. And when you take time on yourself and you take time to listen to your thoughts. You take time to manifest into yourself because there are times when nobody else is going to do it for you. They're just not. And the only way you can manifest in yourself is by doing things you love doing. Just be you. Be who you are what you're about. Be real. Um, be spontaneous. You know, be happy. Be sad. Whatever it is you're going through, things will be okay. Because... You know, there are people that have way worse than most people. And, you know, I think my every day, every day I get a new day. Every day I get a new life. And I get a next day or wherever. An extra day of breath. Um, whether, whether maybe that or... In the morning, I'm glad I could wake up and see the sunset. Or um, be blessed that I have friends around me. Be blessed that I have followers on YouTube. You know, something to motivate me to push through my life. And Sometimes I get to thinking like this, and, and it's just like sometimes you just can't. People get to thinking like this. Oh, they're not worthy, whatever. For some other reason, nobody wants to be with them. It you shouldn't feel that way, because everybody has their own lives to live. And when people have their own lives to live, that person's got to respect that that individual over here, or that individual over there, or that individual over there, has their own lives to live, but yet, out of one of those three, one of the three out of the people that are busy with their lives, they take five minutes out of their day to check up on them. So, Really, you know, you are worthy of people. 
You know, it's just, you still have that one friend that will call you and check up on you. You'll have that one person you're dating or you're in love with or whatever. A call, text, whatever it may be, you'll have that person check up on. And, that, and that's the thing. And to me, when people say they're not worthy for anybody, they just feel like throwing in the towel. To me, that is a cop out. That's the reason why I'm saying that. A lot of people say they want to give up. They want to just throw them a towel because, you know, they can't find somebody in, in their life. And um, to me, that's not what I'm about. That's not who I am. I'm not throwing in the towel. I'm not giving up on anything. It's just there are times when you just got to... Learn to be by yourself. You gotta learn to manifest and evolve your thoughts, you know, and ask yourself, well, what am I doing wrong? And when you figure out what you're doing wrong, learn from that mistake. When you learn from that mistake, it makes you into a better person. Because when you listen to that mistake you made and you realize that you made that mistake, you learn next time. I mean, I was talking to a buddy online and he, he was feeling down, depressed, and, and stuff. And I talked to him out. And he's a brother of mine and a close friend of mine. And I talked him out of whatever he was in. He, he was down, depressed because some girls said no to him on dates online and stuff. And um, I, he, I mean, he was just really, really hardcore. Damn. And I just told him, I said, hey, man, it's not worth to be down. He said, well, you, you just don't know, man. I'm tired of being single. I, mean, I said, bro, you'll find somebody. Trust me. I said, look at me. I, I haven't gave up. And that's what I told him. I said, do you see me throwing in the towel? I said, life is like a boxing match. <laughs> this is how I see it about life. In my perspective. It's you against you in the ring of life. You don't hear the bell when life gets hard. And I told him that. Because if you hear the bell too early, you're always going to back down on yourself. The reason why I say that is because no matter what girls do to men, they're going to do what they want to do. Because women have their rights on what they want to do. You can't control a woman what she does. She's going to do what she's going to do, either if it's right or if it's wrong. Either in a relationship, trying to get with somebody, or whatever. But he was thinking negative thoughts. I told him, I said, fuck them girls that don't want to be with you. I said, you're better than what they are. I said, if they can't have the time to be with you, then fuck them. And that's what I told him. So when I calmed him down and I told him about it and what I thought, I said, you know, I've been turned down by so many girls. 
in my heart. I said, did I give up? No. I kept pushing until I found someone. So, you know, it takes time and patience, you know, to find your worthy of another woman or whatever. And it takes time to have patience to where God will send you somebody. And that's what he done to me. You know, he, he sent me somebody. And I'm not... You know, I'm not... I'm not... I'm not saying, you know, to diss on girls because, you know, they turn it down. I'm not saying that. You know, it, you know, I love women uh, as much as her, every year. Other guy does. But the thing is, most men nowadays, when they get attracted, they think they're not worthy. And so they stay to themselves. When they know they are worthy, better than them, they'll find somebody that's good for them. And to me, on that part is, you just gotta have patience. You know, patience comes a long way. <laughs> Heck, I didn't start dating till I was like 18. Cause, and so when I was 18, I started dating. I mean, I didn't, I didn't care, left or right, you know, I, there's, there were some girls I did ask out, and yeah, they turned me down. Did I let it stop me from going on with my life, you know, not hearing that bell? No. I kept on, I kept pushing, until I met the right one. So, I mean, dirty habit, you know, life lessons, you know. Even in, if you're in a relationship now, and if you feel like your love is going south, or it, or if you feel like there's not the connection there, or something like that, then work it out. Work it out to be right. Work it out to try to talk about it. And if you want to talk about it with the other half, then... So just bottling it up inside, maybe you can make the relationship last longer and come back more stronger in the relationship. And and that's the thing. And a lot of people don't take time to realize that because they're too much into their phones in the relationship. You know, I see it all the time. I, I talk to one of my friends from work. She said that uh, her man is always on her phone. And, well, me, I'm always on my phone, but when I'm around people, I'm never on my phone. I give my time to them. I show them that I'm worthy for them. But if they do it back to me, no. They're always on their phones. Doing something. I mean, and that's the thing that kind of aggravates me in today's world. Everybody wants to be on their phones and when they're talking and stuff like that. And right to their, fa to their face. There were times at work, I seen that all the time. I would try to talk to somebody on, talk to somebody on break. And at my old job. And there were times I wanted to grab that phone out of their hand. I wanted to toss it. When I was talking to them. Because I knew they weren't paying attention to what I had to say. And, and that's the thing. And a lot of people have a tendency to. A lot of people have a tendency to. Not really care about what people think anymore. And to me that's sad. You know, I mean, you shouldn't really care about what people think, but you should respect on what they think or what they say to you. Because if you don't respect on the person that is talking to you, 
Why should I show you? Why should you show them respect back? You know, and that, and that's the thing. And a lot of people don't do that. And to me, to me, I think the world today this needs to manifest on themselves and learn to take time with others than being on the phone all damn day. Take time with their loved one. Take time with their family. Take time with their kids. Whatever it is, you know, you don't need to be on your phone eight hours a day, 24 hours a day. I'm sorry, you don't. You know, only time when I'm on my phone is like, I'm listening to music. Am I either on it for social media stuff? No. Sometimes I'm on Facebook, maybe 10 minutes out of the day, see what's up with everybody. I said, but I don't chit chat on it that much anymore. I mean, I kind of quit the social media thing. I said, but I still make my YouTube videos to get myself out there on what I have to say about today's world because everybody wants to manifest on and on us their phones. They don't want to manifest into their loved ones or the person that they're with or in the relationship that they're live with with someone or a friend or whatever. It may be, you know, they don't want to interact. And to me, today's world needs to interact more with others and, and to learn. Learn from others, to be there for others, help others, and always feel courteous to others. And take the time out of your day to acknowledge them and give them perspective back on what they tell you. And to me, that's what I think what the world needs. And to do, to make this place a better place. Because Really, technically, cell phones, I mean, I'm not saying they're bad. I'm not saying they're not bad to have. They're good to have, you know, for emergencies. But really, you got to limit yourself on how many hours you're on. And I kind of quit watching a lot of YouTube videos. I mean, I've been slowing down uploading a little bit. Um, cause of my job, I don't really get to upload that much videos, and cause my job gets in the way of it. But, when it comes to show, I do try to post videos in a once in a while. And, a lot of times, a lot of people don't like my talk videos. And I don't know why. But, no matter what, I always try to give a good word out. And, you know, manifesting yourself, you know, take time for others, show them that they're worthy, Show them that you're trying to be worthy for them, and be respectful, be kind, and not be rude. And unless if you have to be rude, then okay, you have to be rude. But you know, always try to be kind to do it. Do unto others as you would unto them. And or if you bring out nice into the world. Or you bring out good things into the world, good things will come back onto you. If you bring out bad things into the world, bad things will come onto you. So it's just on how you look at life, you know. That's all I gotta say. But never, you know, because a girl turns you down or a man turns you down, if you're a woman watching this video, if you're a man turns you down or cheats on you or if. If you're a man, if a woman turns you down, or if your woman is cheating on you, you know, find your words. You know, go out there and find your words because you deserve more better than that. And, um, and manifest in yourself. And take time to heal. Take time to think back what you did wrong or what they did wrong. And try to reconnect with each other, make each other strong. And, and that doesn't work, then maybe it's just time to move on. But no matter what, always try to make it work. Always try to make the relationship strong. 
no matter if you're with them or without them. Because, you know, you never know when you might need this person anymore. Because that's just how I see it. And a lot of times, a lot of people don't take the time to manifest in themselves, manifest in their thoughts, manifest in themselves to grow, to be that better person than what they were yesterday. So, there you have it. You gotta take time for others. And but also take time for yourself. And when you don't take time for yourself, you never grow. So, it's just like a plant. Man, you go out and garden. It needs fertilizer. Right? It needs fertilizer to grow. To get stronger. And the roots. Well, you use the water and miracle grow to grow those plants and fertilize them. So you have all three of those things to make a plant grow. Well, that's how you need to do it with yourself. You gotta learn to make yourself grow and manifest into yourself to be that better person than what you were yesterday. So, manifest in yourself. Take time to learn. Think time to think in your mind. Listen to your thoughts. Because, and learn from it. But don't think negative thoughts because this person down over here turned me down. That person over there turned me down. That person over there turned me down. Who cares? If they don't want to be with you, so what? It's their lives. Fuck them. That's what I say. There's always time for everything else in life. You just gotta be patient. Please hit the light. Please hit the square. Hit the bell. Hit all the bell. You'll get every one of my videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Seth Martial Art Fitness. Stay positive. Stay motivated. Stay strong. Manifest in yourself. And learn. Figure out where you're going at in life. Learn to heal yourself. To learn to be able to grow. Just like the plants in the garden. That's all I'm saying. Peace.